Hello and welcome to my GeoGuessr Daily Challenge, day 89. Let's get going. Ugh. I didn't say let's very well then. Let's get going. More pronunciation. Okay, um... South America, yellow lines, Spanish writing, all Portuguese, they're quite similar, but one or the other. But now the problem of narrowing down. I'm not sure if my face light's too bright. Let's leave it all right for now. I think it's fine. Oh, a side like this is going to be helpful. Is that a Colombian flag? That is quite the flag, actually. Dot B.O. Bolivia. Yeah, okay. Bolivia's a nice one. It's not one of the bigger countries. It's still pretty big, but it's not too big. So what is this? Uh, administration... 100 kilometers global okay I don't know what that sign's about I was hoping it could be like a regional sign but that was a pretty big number of kilometers so it probably covers a pretty big area um oh here we go street signs wait this isn't a what this is a roundabout you can go straight through the middle of? I've never seen it. Wait, but it's not a roundabout here anymore. Oh, it's like turn-offs. That was weird. I There are roundabouts um, like that in Australia. Somewhere where I live, we have these roundabouts that have the signs on them that say go round. They're intentionally weak at the base, so they can be snapped. Uh, and they're for ambulances. If an ambulance has to get somewhere very quickly, or just, not just ambulances, but all emergency services, if they have to get somewhere very quickly, and they're going, um, the roundabout's full, they can just go over the middle of it. Although I will say I've never seen them used, but I do see emergency services quite often. So maybe they're not for emergency, maybe for, their, for other reasons very specific reasons, but they're clearly for someone to drive over the middle. There's roads through the middle. Campento. No. Set ingresso on the bottom, but I think ingresso is just a ingress, a variation of the word ingress, which means enter. Oh, someone was saying to me yesterday, I think it was Adup, that taxis in Colombia have city names on them. I know we're not in Colombia, but... So don't L I D E R Lida. Could that be a name of a place? I don't think so. Not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. All right. I was uh, that was pretty good. I'm starting to have a hard time judging what I think a good score is. Getting the right country is still completely acceptable. And in a small country like that, okay, maybe in a small country like that I should have got a bit better. Um, I mean, it's all in Russian. Cyrillic. Uh, Can we work out which country we're in? Kemepobo. It sounds familiar. I know that's probably not how it's pronounced. I'm just gonna quickly check the usual sub. There. I'm not speaking very well today. Sorry. The usual suspects of uh, Cyrillic-based countries. No. Okay, I'm gonna put our marker there-ish for now. This is not going to be a great round unless I find more information. I really need country information, and if the information I end up discovering basically confirms that this is Russia, well then things aren't gonna be good. Wait, yeah, I think this is Russia. Um, I've once had 
someone told me the clue that a million bollards at a corner at an intersection means Russia. That was a lot of bollards at an intersection. So now I think the thing to think about is what part of Russia? It's not north. It, it actually doesn't look too cold here. In fact, it looks warm. So down here in this part of Russia could get a bit warmer. I heard an interesting fun fact yesterday that Russia is the country with the largest difference in temperature in any two points. Which makes a lot of sense because you've got stuff down here that's like near quite warm places. And then they also own basically Antarctica. Not Antarctica, the Arctic. Antarctica is the other side. But it's still an interesting fact. Um, okay. I'm just going to... Oh, I'm running out of time. I'm just going to quickly look for this place name. Nah, time's up. Ouch. There it is. Oh, Russia always hurts. Oh, that's not good. Rodriguez. South America again? What part of South America? Biblioteca Municipal. Ah, uh, that's the library. It's weird how you know just random language, random words from different languages. Like, why should the two of the... Well, I know exactly why they're two of the words I know best from Spanish. Is cheese and a library. Library being biblioteca and cheese being queso. I know why I know them. Because they're from TV shows. But really, it's so pointless. They say cheese in Spanish as a joke in Scrubs. And then there's that rap in one of the episodes of Community where they say biblioteca for library. Can I get off this road or am I stuck? Because going back and forth on this road is not helping me. Okay, let's go this way. Well, no, wait, we're making a lap. Can I get off the road yet? Is this area all new? Like what's happening? Why am I stuck on the road? Here we go. Freedom to move. What? That is a way nicer house than everything else here. No Brazil. Brazil. There. So I know that this part of Brazil is hugely populated. And this feels like an expansion near the edge of a very populated area. This feels like a new housing estate to me. Maybe not super new, but like it feels like we need more houses. Let's expand. That could be completely off button. Okay, um... Don't understand any of this. Raw Ramia. Ramia. Is that a state? It is. Oh, yes. It's up here. That's the first time I've ever found like a state or a specific in Brazil. It's not going to be near there. Um, out there. Oh, who cares? I, do, I moved my marker away in a dumb position, but still. The fact that we found the state of Roramia is amazing. Hello, America. NB415. Nebraska, that'll be. Where's Nebraska? Nevada. Where is Nebraska? Why am I blind? 
There it is. Oh. I'm less keen on it being Nebraska now that it doesn't look anything like Nebraska. New Brunswick? Is that a thing? New Brunswick. No. Maybe. What could NB mean? Alaska? New Brunswick is a thing. And it's the right shape. Look, there's the little iffy bit. Okay, we're in Canada, not Nebraska. Awesome. 415. Uh, where does New Brunswick extend to? Up to there and then counts off there. I mean, I'm very unlikely to find road 415. It looks like there's a lot of roads. We're only getting like up to the hundreds by being zoomed to this point. Zoom in more. And more. That feels like it might be a mile marker instead of actually a um, road number. Because 415 feels like a way too high road number to exist. Those people really like that color of car. Did you see in that driveway, all three cars were exactly the same color? Come on, more information, please. Look, it's so slow. Well, there's a lot of cars there. Oh. Come on. Nah, I chose the wrong way. There is nothing here. Let's go the other way to see if I could have uh, found a clue this way. There's a river. Yeah, there's the river that I found the other direction quickly. Oh, there's road 415. So there was a road called 415. It was just a little bit further away. Still, we got the right state, which is good enough. I hope we get a good score here. We're dangerously close to falling into bronze. Uh, that is the most helpful truck I've ever read in my life. Man. Um, Isle of Man post office is... Can I get closer to read it more clearly? <laughs> no. Come on, what does that say? P O S T Post A G H Ellen Van. Port? Could it be P O R T? No. Port Evelyn. Okay. No, this way is not helpful. Other way. <gasps> We've entered a different time zone because the most helpful truck ever has disappeared. That was weird. Oh gosh, yeah. Like it's not super helpful over this side. The Lazarine. No, and we don't get frequent enough photos to get anything clear. L E Z A Y R E Parish. L E Z A Y R E. Come on. X. Uh, 
L-E-Z-A-Y-R-E. There's Lexley, Lexi. Not Leslie, or however you pronounce it. No, guess. Pretty damn close. Actually, amazingly close. Is it going to say Leslie at all? Oh, there's the road called Leslie Road. View summary. We got saved from the Hell of Bronze by that very kind and generous round at the end. But there were some there were some hard ones today. I think I got lucky on them. Russia, obviously I didn't get lucky, just not a great guess. Well I'm not good at Russia. It's hard. It's one of the hardest countries in GeoGuessr I'd say. But I'm not justifying my results with that. I don't know it well enough. I need to get better at Russia. I'm getting better at Isle of Man. It hasn't tricked me in a while, despite the fact that that was the world's most helpful but um drop. That was actually pretty good. Happy I worked that one out. Um, very happy I got the right state here. Although I was a little bit lucky I did find that sign. Um, and yeah, actually, not too bad. It was just that rush around that really screwed me. Either way, that was a fun round of games. And I will say, that was some of my favorite maps in a while. It always feels like in the um, daily challenge, GeoGuessers try to screw you with weird obscure maps in the middle of open bare roads and never anything fun and if they do go for like a fun easy round it's too easy like the multiple rounds we've had in the past few months of like you can see the golden gate bridge from a million miles it's like that's their favorite monument of all time and they just want everyone to see it all the time there's never like that middle ground of where are we where are we go around a few corners <gasps> there's the eiffel tower now, if I can go find it on the map and backtrack, I can work out the perfect score. Or I'm just thinking into it too much. Either way, this was a good set of rounds. I quite enjoyed it. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video if you did. Uh, leave a comment below saying what you liked about it if you did. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.